Video number four, dining out and being social. In this video, we'll discuss about dining out and being social. At times, it might feel as if changing your eating habits to remove gluten from your life is the worst thing that can happen. But then, as you discover a world of healthy alternatives and begin to eat foods you've never even considered, you relax and enjoy all the benefits. There is one aspect of going gluten-free, however, that can unnerve even experienced old timers. Eating someplace that isn't home. Handling eating out, either on your own or with friends, can feel overwhelming. And how do you handle dinner invitations? The fact is, other people may not understand what you are going through. Unless you want to turn into a hermit, you're going to have to socialize. Most people are social beings and need to be around other people. This video will help you overcome the challenges of eating out and turn you into a worry-free social butterfly. First, you shouldn't expect other people to accommodate your lifestyle. Some may be unaware. Others may simply not know what to do and innocently prepare a dish they think you can eat. Understand that it's your responsibility, wherever you are, to stick to your gluten-free diet. You cannot, and should not, rely on others. What's for dinner? It is rude to tell your host or hostess that you can't eat the lasagna and that they should have something else for you. We repeat, don't expect special accommodations. However, it is perfectly acceptable to simply ask what they are serving. Politely explain that the reason for your inquiry is that you have a dietary restriction. Perhaps the host will accommodate you. Perhaps not. But knowing what you're getting yourself into will help you be prepared. You can eat before leaving for the event and then simply toy with a few vegetables without calling attention to yourself. What if your host promised to prepare a gluten-free meal, but it turns out he or she has no idea what this entails and you end up with a fried chicken coated in flour? Again, it's a good idea to eat before arriving, despite the host's promises. Then, when you join the assembled guest, you can concentrate on having fun instead of focusing on the food. And don't pout at the host. He or she meant well, but didn't know better than to serve anything breaded. If you know the host well, or if it's family, ask if you can bring your own dish that will accommodate your diet. Very few people would take offense to such a request. There will be times when neither you or the host have enough control of the menu, such as when it's a large catered affair. In such an event, don't even mention your diet. Fill up on healthy foods before you arrive. There is every chance that such a function will have vegetables, salad, or a piece of meat that you can enjoy. If in doubt, quietly ask the catering staff. As you go gluten-free, shift your socializing to having fun with people rather than focusing on food. You've met Mr. or Ms. Wright. Can you date and remain gluten-free? Of course you can. It can be daunting until you get used to it, but if anyone makes a fuss, he or she deserves to be kicked to the curb anyway. Most first dates involve some type of food, so be upfront. Explain that your food options are limited due to a health condition. How much you wish to elaborate is up to you. Offer to help your date find an appropriate restaurant. Billy Bob's all-you-can-eat pizza probably won't make the list. If he or she opts to make the selection, you should feel free to get the name of the restaurant beforehand. Call the restaurant before you go and ask them how they handle gluten-free recipes. Most restaurants these days are willing to cooperate, but you want to make sure they don't cross-contaminate their ingredients. Ask how the food is prepared. These are not rude questions, and any restaurant that treats them as such shouldn't get your business. If Mr. or Ms. Wright makes light of your precautions, Perhaps you should consider leaving them in the frog pond. Looking out for one's health is reasonable and smart. At the restaurant, as you would in any social situation, concentrate on the other person and have fun. The focus should be to have a good time, not worrying about the food. But do feel free to ask the waiter any relevant questions. You're the host. Probably the best way to socialize and maintain control of your diet is for you to be the host. 
This will not only alleviate your worries, it's a great opportunity for you to educate your friends and family. When they ask about a dish they enjoy, tell them it is gluten-free. This is likely to stimulate their interest and raise questions about the benefits of eating gluten-free. Use this time to enlighten and educate your friends. Who knows, you may make a few converts. Finding a restaurant. We have discussed calling restaurants and asking appropriate questions. Luckily, the number of gluten-free restaurants is on the rise. As for regular restaurants, your best bet is one with a large and diverse menu that will always have a simple steak and steamed veggies. Certain types of restaurants are more likely to be safer for you than others. Number one, barbecue restaurants are likely to focus on meat and potatoes. Barbecue sauces are usually gluten-free, but don't hesitate to ask. Number two, don't discount fast food restaurants. The good thing about them is that they post the nutritional content of all of their food. Fries, a salad, or some chili should be safe to eat. Number three, oriental restaurants such as Indian, Thai, or Vietnamese have rice noodles as a standard part of their menu. Number four, steak and seafood restaurants are another good bet. Meat, fish, potatoes, and a vegetable can make an excellent gluten-free meal. Just stay away from anything breaded. Make gluten-free friends. If you join a gluten-free support group in your area, you will meet new people and make new friends that are in the same position as you. You will be surrounded by an entire group that is supportive and knowledgeable about gluten-free eating. That makes eating out and socializing a worry-free pleasure. That's all for now. Join us in our next video of tips for a stronger, healthier, and happier you. If you've enjoyed this video on healthy tips, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next video on keeping you healthy. Thank you.